Peace, oh please. It's obvious. And Bismarck. You know what it is. You know what it is. Today we're here to talk to you guys about what we're going to do with our music in the upcoming future. And I just want to ask Op, when are we getting that next single, man? <laughs> next single. Oh, man. Uh, hopefully that next single will come out for Christmas. I Word so. up, bro. Yeah, I mean, I'm working on those th three songs right now, but um, I'm, I've narrowed it down to two. To two the one I showed got. you earlier. Yeah, for sure. And uh, the FCC one, which I have not got gotten to recording it. So. Very net good neutrality. <laughs> yeah, net neutrality. I, I just, as soon as I heard about the news, hearing about like how the FCC got the vote for um, net neutrality and repealing that, uh, I was just flabbergasted. <laughs> so. I feel you. As an artist, like, I know what you mean because the internet is such a great resource for everything, even as students, mm -hmm. like, as a musician, as students. But, honestly, at the same time, like, don't you think it might be a good thing to for net neutrality to die? Because, like, I mean, how many... I mean, it's going to be harder to make music. But, at the same time, it would limit the amount of phone use like you would not use your phone or be on social media as much why is that a good thing that's a horrible thing i mean this you can't be relying on your phone though uh what, like you want to be on computer. social media what social media is like a must <laughs> how else are we getting our music out and no these are valid products? points these are valid points but i mean the amount of people that are just stuck on social media and like you know what I mean like it's it's that's a part of our music. It's it's a it's a weird it's a weird topic. It's a weird topic because I feel like there's positives and negatives of social media. Yeah, but I I think there's more positives honestly because I mean, but that's just how you utilize it as well. It's all how about I how you it or everyone. Yeah, just perspective. Yeah. Agree. Everything is. Because if you use it for good, then, like, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, th th it's obviously being used for bad things because there's people, like, that are, they're, put they're putting out fake news and mm -hmm. stuff, trying to influence people in these negative ways. And there's literally this one dude who just lives off doing that, like, making fake news every single day. He gets someone, someone I met at Temple was telling me this. I met this guy on the plane who told him, like, how he's just, like, laughing at, like, everyone because he basically just makes this content making this fake news like for some political gen agenda mm -hmm. and people buy into it and he's got all these people following him and he's li living like and he's like, like he's like an asshole that's what he basically yeah. said like, this guy's not a good person like, <laughs> and that's how he's using so social media but there's also the fact that many other people that are trying to promote uh, realistic news, news that is like uh, positive. accurate and positive. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yes, uh, it's definitely a spectrum of good and bad uses of social media. But I feel like social media should stay because it's just your it's just your voice. You're able to express whatever you you need to express. <clears throat> and I feel like if it's limited by n not having net neutrality, then you'll have a lot of more negative voices because then Comcast can block different like sources of exactly. content because they I I read an article somewhere they were saying <clears throat> they already started to block some something that people were trying to like go against or I I don't know exactly you know just take it with a grain of salt yeah for but, sure like everything <clears throat> exactly. No, so. I definitely agree with you. Like, there's definitely it's it's all about the balance. Yeah. Because I feel like there there does need to be a balance on social media, but it's also I feel like a right like a right of ours at this point to have uh, net neutrality for sure. Yeah, extremely because then then you're just gonna have companies that can't compete with these major corporations that can pay to have their YouTube and all these different sources 
and streams uh, and channels to distribute their own content. And then people like startup companies that are going to be trying to do all this great stuff, they're not going to be able to compete because Comcast is going to slow their their uh, connection and servers or whatever. Basically, you're not going to be able to get on the site. They're not going to have high quality resolution. Right. People aren't going to want to want to be a, uh, like a part of that company if they have all this like low grade low quality stuff so the big corporations are gonna win <laughs> and then there's just gonna be monopolies and what kind of capitalistic society is that yeah that, that's not what the u.s stands for true but i mean <clears throat> that's just that's a little like s- small representation of like the big picture as well because no matter what corporations are gonna win <laughs> yeah but as long as we still have that freedom right now to go against them it can still be like a change it can still be a change exactly because if if they take it away then it's just basically we're gonna be so so limited so constrained like right now we have everything free we have twitter we have facebook we have all these different things we can we can all just post on there but once once they start charging 10 15 20 dollars a month for all of them. For all, yeah, exactly. You, you're going to be like, you, how are you going to pay for them? You're going to have like one or two or three. And meanwhile, these, these negative people, negative corporations are going to have all of them. And they're going to they're gonna outplay you, basically. And what are you going to do? <laughs> Nothing. Exactly. Your voice won't be heard as well. I agree. I definitely think that's an awesome song topic. Yeah. So what kind of um what kind of styles are like are you going to start incorporating in your like your new music? What kind of styles? Like are, what are you going to okay. be doing different uh, than uh tuning to Paradise 1 and 2? I mean, obviously HOL is a lot different than yeah. uh yeah. what was heard on both projects. Yeah, definitely. But like go- moving forward Moving forward, definitely, I've been trying to try new styles because I feel like there are a lot of times um, I I rap a little too fast maybe sometimes and I try to put too many things together, mm-hmm. like too many words and ideas. And I, I feel like, first of all, I feel like I feel like I try to get really deep and that kind of get, get, get flies right over your head because you can't pick up on those ideas because I'm going way too fast so like these big th- big topics themes I want to talk about or or like hint subtly like mm-hmm. they're not getting the response I want them to get so I definitely want to like I've been trying to like slow it down be more like to the point yeah be direct. more to the point exactly I, I want to be better at like explaining things explaining my ideas and the song topics better Mm-hmm. So that's why I've been trying to like I, I like sing so like I, I try to make the flow more singy mm-hmm. like and still get the point across in a shorter amount of words <clears throat> because maybe in another song all those different ideas I have will go into the other song like mm-hmm. in a in a, like a short way but still get the point across a lot better. Exactly. Yeah, so definitely that and Hopefully, yeah, like new new uh, instrumental styles for sure. Yeah, I'm always because I I made a bunch of s- stuff already, mm-hmm. like a year two years ago, mm-hmm. beats. But I feel like I've been I got a lot more ideas. Like I w- I want to do acoustic more. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, definitely acoustic more. And like straight acoustic, like n- or like just <coughs> acoustic. Um. Like samples, like not samples, uh, but like yeah, you're gonna instruments, tr- yeah, instruments. Just not like not like not just straight acoustic, yeah, like yeah. XXS, <laughs> like that. Uh, what album you just recorded acoustic? Wait, like, like XXX. What? You ever did you listen to his new album? Uh, yeah, once. Yeah, it was like real. Like What's he it? had straight uh, acoustic songs. Uh, that's true. I I don't really remember it too much. Yeah, it wasn't. I did like the acoustic. Though. It wasn't that great. <laughs> <laughs> I like the acoustic. <laughs> It was alright. Not my cup. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, but that's funny because, like, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like you always, like, with your music in the first and second one, you were, like, you had a lot of, like, crazy ideas. Yeah. And, like, I, f- 
I feel like you were right. Like, you were trying to get too much in. And I feel like I'm, like, on the polar end of the... The other end of the spectrum. Like, I feel like I was, like, way, like, to the point. Like, mm-hmm. and almost, like, too too much to the point And, like, kind of preachy. I don't want to get boxed into, like, this preachy mm-hmm. type of music. Where, like, I'm just trying to spread my message, which I am. Yeah. But at the same time, like, I want to, like, I don't want to just be telling you what to believe or preaching at you. I want to, like, make you question everything. <laughs> it's not like Christianity where you, you tell, believe this, the Ten Commandments. Exactly. You're going to be like, what, you're going to be like, just like, suggesting more? Is that what you're trying to say? Like, yeah, just, I'm going to, like, uh, in the one me? song when I talk about, like, um, like the Eyes Wide uh, shut Stanley Kubrick reference. Mm-hmm. Like, I just talk about how women and men have fantasies, and I'm not really trying to, like, take one side or the other, I'm just exploring multiple perspectives. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, more like that. And, mm-hmm. like, talking about life experiences and mm-hmm. just getting the people to think. You're not showing a bias towards one, basically. Exactly. What, what, what you like really believe or, or what someone should believe you're just laying it out there basically saying there's exactly. this way I look at it there's this way I look at it exactly <clears throat> okay cool cool nice yeah that's I feel like that's just like what our music does in general like that's the overall goal get people to like, yeah. question things but like mm-hmm. sometimes like you get like I don't know we get I feel like I at least me I get like I get like <laughs> tunnel vision and just like <laughs> and like don't even though like I've <clears throat> explored these multiple perspectives I don't necessarily talk about them as much as I want to and like mm, mm-hmm. that's how I feel okay okay but what do you think uh are we gonna see any j production on your new uh next day or album yes for definitely, sure. Definitely. Because there's this one day on the shuttle bus, I, I, I just felt, I don't know what it was, I just felt like in, intense intensity, so I, I just wanted to write something intense and just came to, to fit Systematic Override into the flames. Mm-hmm. I picked out Jam, one of James' beats because a lot, he had some good trap style mm-hmm. beats yeah. at one point. And I picked out a few, three, I think. <laughs> and I just wrote on all of them. So, I, he let me use them, so... Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, we'll see how it goes, because it's a long process. And there's a lot of songs to make. And a lot of cutting out. And, like, you know, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work, seeing what fits, how it flows. So we'll see how that works out. But definitely one, two, because... it's Oh, yeah, one of them just is so intense, dude. I'll, yeah, I'll have to show you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, because, like, I don't think I've really ha- heard anything. Like, I've heard Op Spaz before, but, like, I ain't think, like, I never heard Op go in on, like, a hard ass beat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, his stuff, like, oh. he spazzes on the mic, don't get it twisted. But, like, I don't think I've heard Op, like, go on a hard ass beat. And I feel like, mm-hmm. to, like, I don't know, the listeners, the people who are listening are gonna. Here, like definitely another side of like <laughs> mm-hmm. the spectrum oh, when it yeah, comes yeah. to the next mixtape it's not gonna oh, be yeah, like yeah. i feel like not you can't like, have a song like high off life on no maybe like with a similar message but it's mm-hmm. definitely gotta be delivered in another different, way very different this it's gonna be darker <laughs> darker sounds topics this definitely. one's way darker this song the remember time. what is that <laughs> that J. Cole <laughs> I don't remember that I think J. Cole says something like that he's like it's time it's time <laughs> <laughs> wait for his new album I think it was like Born Sinner or something yeah, he said that Sinner. I uh, could be I, wrong don't quote me on that I, I don't remember yeah, he but. said that once before I don't remember exactly <laughs> <laughs> what do you th- what do you think you're gonna do uh, differently in the future well I'm trying to come out with this new fun EP, it still has a basic concept on it. It's not going to just be, like, a collab or, like, a collection of, like, nonsense. Mm -hmm. But I've been trying to, like, have more fun with my music, talk about friends and family, 
Yeah. Talk about girls. <laughs> yeah, definitely different than your first project. Oh, hundred percent. Much different. Yeah, this kind of kind of goes along what I was saying earlier. <laughs> like, uh, like I felt like I really had like tunnel vision on this message on through the broken glass, and like I could have like brought in a lot of different perspectives. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I don't know. I. I just kind of had tunnel vision. <laughs> I mean, that's cool. Like, it's, yeah. it's all part of the process. Mm-hmm. Really, we just started out, like, getting our thoughts out there. We're, we're getting better, like, all the time. You're always you're always getting better, dude. I feel like every song you make just gets better and better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, like, collective, though. Like, we're all getting better. True. Even James, like, he, <clears throat> he hasn't dropped anything, but... Jake Cliff. He, he's got... He's got some fire. Yeah. Like, he always... He always has something to say on the beat, mm-hmm. and he's making dope beats. Yeah, we need to get Jay Close on a podcast too. Yeah, for <laughs> sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. We, we need some more music from him. Yeah, he needs Definitely. to drop like a single or something. If yeah. we're not gonna be blessed with that mixtape, you feel me? Did Did he say he was writing more? Nah. <laughs> no, because he he rapped that that one stuff I heard from the Snapchat. Oh uh, yeah, that was a freestyle. Oh, it's just freestyle. Yeah. The beginning too. Uh, I mean, like maybe it would have been both. Yeah. Oh yeah, maybe he had some was written. Written. So he was maybe a little bit. Yeah. Good, good, good. <laughs> Are any of my beats on your new project? Mm, I don't none. think so. Damn, no. that's crazy. Yeah, that oh, is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just been. I mean, we just been really busy. Yeah, true. Like, Rob hasn't had the time to like produce every one of my songs because like both in school mm-hmm. and he's gotta like work on his own her own music first yeah and like gotta mm-hmm. respect that yeah but I'll, sure. I'll definitely try to make some for you definitely <laughs> <laughs> I, got I got to just so you know <laughs> he never offered before this oh, <laughs> yeah, I just never so offered. y'all y'all know oh my god I said it first <laughs> he's like ooh really? I, well, I, I, I knew it was a fact. Like, oh, of there's going to be production best, on my side. It's fun. We're well, that's a sure. fact. Because I'm going to be mastering it. Oh, yeah. He masters it. everything. But still, bro. I, I I'll, master I'll be making uh, a beat or two. Or more, hopefully. I ain't master shit. But so far, how many do you have? <sighs> like six, six songs or so. And six I pretty six. much have that whole unreleased mixtape. <laughs> The what? The unreleased mixtape, the um, a meeting. Oh uh, right, yeah. yeah. Basically, I'm about to. I'm gonna two projects. I'm, I'm gonna drop that, like four years from now. Oh <laughs> no! And then like this is just like <clears throat> some stuff that I did because, I don't know. That's not happening. <laughs> That's not happening. Seriously. It's gonna come out like soon. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I feel like I don't know. It was like I feel like it was a transitioning mixtape. Uh-huh. into like what I want to do and like I feel like it sounded a lot like Sunshine or I don't even know the name to my mixtape Through the Broken Glass <laughs> yeah. that was actually the previous title but um oh uh, right Sunshine Through the Broken Glass yeah that was the first name yeah but um I don't know I feel like it was just like I said earlier it was like <clears throat> very preachy but at the same time it was different mm-hmm. but what I'm making now is just I feel like ten times better. Yeah. And to like definitely go back and like redo everything. It's just like I don't want to do that. Right. I didn't mean redo everything. <laughs> like I would have to redo a lot of stuff for the tape. Uh. To make it to where I want it to be right, on yeah. on par with my music right now yeah. that I'm making. So what you're not? It's on the back burner. <laughs> uh, yeah. I um, mean that's cool. Yeah. And as long as you're focused on the project you got coming out. Exactly. I f- it'll, it'll, it'll come through <laughs> at some point. For sure. Probably summer at some point. Summer at some point? Oh, yeah. yeah that would be not. a great one for the summer. I, I just want to take more time. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I feel that so much. I've just been definitely just trying to take my time with this one. For and sure. plan it out. And make sure it flows like like really well <laughs> yeah for yeah. sure I mean you could tell like on um I don't know I, I felt like tuning into Paradise 2 was a lot more thought out mm-hmm. 
Appreciate yeah, it's getting it's getting more and more thought out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As, the, as the time goes, like I like what, uh, by my side and symphonies is like very well thought out. Yeah, oh, thanks. I don't know. Yeah, dude, they took a long time to make the songs. Honestly, well, I would like make some like pretty quick, and then it'd be like days or weeks, a month, or two later, like I would come back to it and just like fix a bunch of stuff. But that's what you need sometimes. Yeah. Audit yourself. Yeah, because when you listen, when you just keep <coughs> listening to a song, yeah. it just you, you just like you just it just you hear so much. You you don't even like hear like it's like you hear it in your voice, not in like outside perspective, basically. And that's when you you can't pick up on stuff. Exactly. So I feel like you gotta give it some time. Sometimes. Yeah. It's just just so you can give it your own, but, like, another perspective. Exactly. You can try to listen to it as, like, oh, whoa, who's this? <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking, too. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like, when you when you keep recording something and you listen to it, like, you know all the words, so, mm-hmm. like, and you know how you want it to sound, so it almost sounds like the way you intended it. Yeah, but it's not. But it's not the way it's you not. intended it. Exactly. So when you listen to it, like you said, like, a month or two later, you're like, what the hell did I say? Like, <laughs> exactly. Like, what uh, yeah, is I was, that? <laughs> I was listening to Tuning Into Paradise the other day. I was listening to Changes. I was like, what am I saying? What is that word? I can't even understand. Changes. That's like... Oh, not Changes. My bad. Yeah. I meant... Um, uh, what, what was it? He didn't even know what song. So, so, or no, wait, what song was it? Oh, I can't remember which one I was listening to. I can't remember the title. Because then... then, then, then Wait, how is it going? Hold on there and listen now. Take it in. Hard sing to the beat. So real, so real. real. There it is. So real. I should have had that. It's the hook. I gotta hear the hook. (laughs) Yeah, that song's fire. Oh, yeah. The the verse, or the verses. Oh, man. I I was just listening like, can't understand a lot of shit. (laughs) Yeah, but I feel like that's that's one of the points in, like, HOL that you definitely improved on. Like, I could hear, like, every word. Mm -hmm. And, like... I don't know. This uh, comes Sweet. back to the same thing you were saying earlier about um, <coughs> Russian. Not Ru- I know you're Russian, but <laughs> Russian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got that. <laughs> we're playing even trying, bro. But uh, <laughs> no, you just try to have a lot of um, topics and bars. So like, I mean that's good, but mm-hmm. if you slow it down, or not even slow it down, but <coughs> you'll hear. It you know what I mean. Yeah. Exactly. Basically. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I was showing I was showing Avery um, high off the life, mm-hmm. and he liked the bar about how you were like straight off the boat. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, "This is fire." He's like, "This is off." He was like, what? "Really?" Yeah. He's like, "This doesn't sound like anything I heard from him." Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit of auto tune. Yeah, just a little. Just a little bit. A little bit. Just, just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not, it's not full. It's not full, but it's, it's there. Yeah, know, it sounds a lot better without a tune. I tried it without. It's not the same. Not the same. I don't know, bro. But that one time, that one song, first Valentine, <coughs> that, that ain't no. Oh, audition. true. Yeah, I didn't need auto tune there. And uh, the last, the last, like the outro, I was like. What you sample on this? <laughs> like, who, who's singing right now? Because I know this ain't this kid. Yeah. And he's like, nah, bro, it's me. I'm like, how many effects did you put on that? And he's like, none. I was like, damn. But yeah. Um, for sure. I wanted to show off my singing there. Yeah. I mean, dude, you can sing, but that's the thing. Even though, gotta use auto tune a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. You don't have to. It just sounds. It's just, it's okay. I've so many people use auto tune. It just it just polishes it. Like I don't know, it's just a tool. Like mm-hmm. it's like reverb. Like it makes it sound better. <laughs> so as long as it sounds like it might need it or it would make it better, I'm gonna use it. Exactly. Yeah. And and I don't know. I feel like also it's like it's a real new wavy thing to do. And like not it's not a bad thing, but like I don't know. I feel mm-hmm. like if you tune into like the new wave of like rap and not yeah. necessarily copy people's flows but like 
have like an element of the new wave you're yeah. gonna have more people listening yeah. to what you're saying yeah exactly I, I want more people listening to me because I, I feel like my stuff is just so experimental yeah for sure <laughs> that I, I want to like blend experimental more with what people are more familiar with mm-hmm. like I still want to have my own like touch and my own uh, experimental side to it but I want it to be a little bit more uh, familiar guess is the word and then when people start listening then, exactly. <laughs> then you can just throw it on yeah, them. And, then, and then we're gonna come out the whole experimental tape exactly. people are gonna be like what the hell is this yo who is this except for it's not, it, it's not gonna be like wizard though no wizard what what wizard Trash. was great dude wizard was amazing speeding book to heaven that's different <laughs> wizard was Facts. awesome i love the wizard Facts. So, yeah, facts. Wizard, wizard is awesome. Facts. <laughs> Speeding a bullet to heaven or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Trash. Facts. <laughs> oh, Kid Cudi's good, but he's got some good good songs. I like some songs. Adventures. I like that one. Yeah, I like. I I kind of like the what uh, what what Fantana was saying the other day when he was commenting what? on Jaden. Oh, uh, what did he say? When he was like, the, like both of them have this mindset that like it's the world versus them, and like they have like that uh, yeah. complex. Yeah. <laughs> because like, the, I mean, and like I like I said, like Pantana said, I agree to a certain degree. You're not gonna make anyone, everyone happy when you make music, so you're gonna have haters. Mm-hmm. But. <laughs> If everyone hates on your music, are you really that good? <laughs> I mean, there's people who loved it. Who loved all the songs. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. His Everyone's last album was better. Oh, yeah, his last album was... I really liked it. Really liked it. So there were some points that were kind of like Speed and Motown. Some singing points. Oh, yeah, that was terrible. But... For the most part, it was much amazing. Better. And seeing him live play those new songs was amazing. Yeah, fucking incredible. That's what's up. Dude. Yeah, dude. But a lot of like, dude, like almost like no one was singing his new stuff though. Mm-hmm. I was like, I could only hear my voice singing yeah. like a lot of his new songs. Mm-hmm. I was looking around like no one. Mm-hmm. Was, like, dude, but when when a pursuit of happiness came on, everyone was singing. Everyone, mm-hmm. everyone, course, everyone. But his new ones. Nah. I mean. And that's the thing, though, like, Cuddy was, like, he, like, on Man on the Moon 1, like, that album was so, like, I feel like it opened a gate for, like, opened all the these, like, new con- conscious rappers. Yeah. And, like, psychedelic rap as well. Yeah. Like, that was straight psychedelic rap, though, but it wasn't just, like, mm-hmm. he didn't he didn't even talk about drugs, though, like, that. Yeah. He yeah. just was, like... It was just psychedelic. Yeah, just the sound. Right, what it's was like that? in space. Yeah, what was Man that? What was that one song? Get ready, pop it, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> that song is tight. Intergalactic. Intergalactic. Yeah. Intergalactic. You and that oh, that song's so fun. <laughs> that's like yeah. the that's like the club song. <laughs> that's not. It, no, he, he. I think he but, said like people are, they were playing like on the radio and like in the clubs. Mm. Like at that one point, like because it's a fun song to dance to. Yeah. But it's not like a typical radio club song, not at all. It was very unique, very unique. Cuddy is very unique. <laughs> That's that's valid. These are valid points. Yeah, but I don't know. Kind of like, I don't know. But the overall, the overall, I don't know. I just want to take parts from like multiple regimes of music, like and of rap as well. Mm-hmm. Like I want to yeah. take from conscious rap. Like I want to take from psychedelic rap. I want to take styles and instrumentals from trap rap. I want to take instrumentals from '90s rap. Yeah. Like from and rock. Just, yeah, and just make a <laughs> blend of like rock just whatever I wanna do. Yeah, dude. I, I wanna I wanna have like I don't know, some out there stuff, like some some folk influence, like yeah. some Fleet Foxes influence or something <laughs> like that. Or uh, what what's the um Oh god, I can't think of the name. Whatever. 
st- stuff like that. Acoustic influence. For sure. Being very different. Rock. Because <clears throat> I feel like you, if you're a musician, you gotta listen to like, all the genres. Like, because you, you can get you can get so much influence in so many different ways. Mm-hmm. Like so many different ways. Just in the song structure, or like just the way an instrument gets uh, like just the way the instruments worked or Mm -hmm. I don't know so many different ways or a singing type that's how new music gets born the fusion of different different genres like Lil Uzi's favorite musician is Marilyn Manson yeah that's his favorite yeah but you can't really (laughs) hear any Marilyn Manson no not at all but he has influence in him and you can see it in in his like music videos especially I feel like all the blood I feel like it's more the way he like personifies himself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. True. Agreed. Yeah. But like, I don't know. The biggest thing for me is I don't know. Like, no offense to you guys, <laughs> my music is for everyone. But like, I wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't for like myself. Yeah. Agreed. I love listening to my music and your music all the time, dude. Yeah. For sure. And I mean, I don't know. It's not. It's not that it's a selfish thing or anything. But I'm not gonna make a certain type of music yeah. just to get listens yeah. or to make money. Yeah, that's never the intended goal. No. <clears throat> and I mean, yeah, I'm gonna. I, I do make pe- music for people that. That's a that is yeah. an invalid statement, but That's, they can co they can the, coincide, yeah, co or coexist whatever. Yeah, like you can make music for yourself that you like, and that's for other people exactly. as well. Yeah, exactly. It's not like I'm gonna put something out there that I don't like just for, for just to make people happy, just to make sales. No, that's what I was trying to get to. Exactly. <laughs> no, never like that. That that's something that like. Someone who get, gets a record label, <coughs> someone who gets a record label, they they might make them do that, mm-hmm. make this like style or something. I mean, it like, might not even be the record like Lupe label Fiasco, too. maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he wasn't happy with his laser. Was it lasers? Oh uh, yeah, that was trash. Yeah, he, but he then he came was, out with Tetsuo mm-hmm. and Youth. Yeah, which was was that what it's called? Right, I think so. Yeah, something that, like it's that. Crazy. Yeah, he came back to his roots. For sure, Some people liked him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Alright, I think that I think it's pretty good. I think it's, yeah, pretty, it's a nice podcast. Yeah. Alright, yo. Thank you all for listening. Much appreciated. Um, please like, share this, subscribe for more, and we're gonna have a lot more stuff coming out. So, peace out. Later. <laughs>